I'm Shannon Butcher and I'm a solo marketer for a EV startup called Curbocharge. Oh cool, alright, this is interesting. Tell us a little bit more about what the business does. It's not about selling electric vehicles, it's about finding a solution for people who don't have off-street parking. They've yep. got to park on the street, so like inner cities like Sheffield, yep. and they want to charge at home and benefit from cheaper charging. So yep. we have a product, it's like a plastic channel that sits in the pavement, we cut into the pavement, it sits flush with it, and your cable can go from the house to the car, and it's no tripping hazard at all. This is really, really interesting because I often think we've got that kind of 20, 30 is just around the corner and that's yes. always been kind of the day it's that coming. people talk about. Yeah. And I'm like, I live on a terrace street in Sheffield. Most most streets in Sheffield are terrace streets. Yep. Uh, yep. And you think, unless you're quite well off and you've got a mm-hmm. lovely detached house with a garage, uh, you know, charging an electric vehicle at the moment feels like it's miles off. So it's exactly. great to know that there's something yep. happening there. So what, what kind of stuff are you doing in your role at the moment? Well, it, there's only four of us in the business. So I, as I said, it's just me doing marketing. Wow, right for the whole whole team um, it's a lot got my fingers in a lot of pies I'm wearing a lot of hats uh, my official title is social media and partnerships manager but we go with marketing manager just because that's what I do so I do everything from PR email campaigns social SEO PPC um, articles website management community management the lot everything you can think of I do it somehow <laughs> I guess is there quite a lot of uh, kind of educational stuff that you're doing there getting people thinking about yes. this yeah, it's definitely, we, well, we work with B2B and B2C uh, audiences, so, because we have to liaise with local authorities directly to get approval for our product. Yeah. I do a lot of work on that side, as well as selling to the customers as well, so it's a bit of both worlds, really. There's a lot of teaching people about EVs in general and getting them to switch over to electric and teaching the local authorities about the benefits of more constituents having EVs in the area, like the clean air zones and things like that. So. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So we're at, we're at the first break of the day at Sheffield DM. What's been your favourite takeaway of the talk so far? Ooh, I really enjoyed your talk, actually. It, like, pop- oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> now, audio marketing is not something I've really delved into much before, yeah. uh, mainly because I've not had the resources or time to do it, but it's something I enjoy as a consumer yep. uh, listening to. And I really like the differ- differentiation between podcasting and audio marketing. I thought that was interesting. That cool. There is a lot of noise in the industry where it's just people yapping in a microphone people yapping in a microphone I find I uh, gravitate towards the 5% a lot more the educational the content heavy stuff Um, I listen to um, girls in marketing I'm sure some people have heard about them they do a lot of like business orientated things things that have a lot of value so yeah it was nice to see that that's something that's coming out of the woodworks a bit more rather than the general I just want to hear the sound of my own voice podcasting (laughs) that's awesome that's awesome Uh, right the time has come for you to uh, delve into the bag of justice um, which I keep changing the name of it every time I describe (laughs) it Uh, how it works you pick out a ball it will have a number on it which corresponds to uh, 10 questions that I have there is ball 69 in there as well no one's drawn it out yet we still don't really know what happens if someone (laughs) draws out ball 69 I guess we'll find out if that person is you so uh, whenever you're whenever you're ready yep delve Delve, delve in and let's see what killer marketing question you're going to answer. I got six. Okay, so ball number six. Oh, this is a good one. Um, so what is your favourite ever marketing campaign? It's up to you as to whether you interpret that as a campaign that you've been involved in or whether just generally, like, I don't know, favourite TV ad, anything, right? What's your favourite marketing campaign? That's a really tough one, actually. Um, There's so much to go at, isn't I it? I know. I think a recent one that I've seen, is a brand called Surreal. Uh, they're really heavy on LinkedIn. They're a serial brand, but their marketing's yes. really kind of, it's jokey, it's really funny. The, the, all of their content is very like, uh, we don't really take ourselves too seriously. I can't think of a specific campaign they've done. The whole of their branding, though, is really uh, engaging and fun yeah. and plays on and memes a lot, kind of takes the mickey out of the industry. It's like a Ryanair vibe, you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. They, they, so they pop up quite a bit on my feed. So yeah. I guess I'm, the algorithm is saying that I'm, I'm a good potential customer for them, yeah. which I probably am actually. So yeah. Um, yeah, I see a lot of their stuff as well. Good choice. It's been a real pleasure to chat to you. Thank you for your time. Thank and enjoy you. the rest of the day here at Sheffield. Yeah. Thank you very much.